Good evening, everyone. This is Jun Lee, your RN body. And for today, we will be discussing the concept of your premature cervical dilatation. So another interesting topic also, sa complications of pregnancy under your subject maternal and child health nursing. So this lecture perhaps is very, very applicable sa ating mga graduates also at sa ating mga second year nursing students. So premature cervical dilatation. Do not be confused, guys, with premature rupture of membrane. That's another uh, complication. So for this one, we are to discuss the premature cervical dilatation. Okay, now your premature cervical dilatation is actually formerly known as incompetent cervix. Okay, dati ang pangalan po nito is your incompetent cervix. And this refers to a cervix that dilates prematurely and therefore cannot hold a fetus until term. So ibig sabihin po, your uh, cervix should be dilating no, in, in your labor and delivery uh, period or upon term talaga. Kung saan nagsisimula na po ang ating process of labor and delivery. Okay? So sa first stage po dapat ng ating labor and delivery process, doon pa po dapat magdadilate ang ating cervix. But unfortunately, there are some instances or there are some cases na kung saan nagdadilate sila at very, very early okay, na period. And that is what we call as your premature cervical dilatation. So again, this is otherwise known or formerly known as your incompetent cervix. And this is uh, referring to a cervix that dilates prematurely okay, before term. Now, what are the possible causes of your uh, premature cervical dilatation? First, of course, increased maternal age. At when we say kapag sinabi po natin na increased maternal age, of course, that is okay. That is what we call as uh, the 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 age of the mother is being 35 years old. Okay, remember that one. Okay, another is your congenital structured structural defects sa ating uh, mga uh, babies, and also another thing is your uh, trauma to the cervix like. Uh, kapag may mga accident na nangyari kay mother or also some certain procedures like your cone biopsy, uh, repeated dilation and cure touch, no, and a lot more, basta it can cause trauma to the cervix, it may lead to your what we call as your premature cervical dilatation. Okay, now, what are those possible nursing assessment na pwede nating makita in your case of ser uh, premature cervical dilatation? Firstly, we need to remember class that Talking about pain in your um, premature cervical dilatation, sa inyong premature cervical dilatation, it is actually a painless process or there is what we call as your painless dilatation. Okay, kapag tinatanong kung painful ba ito o painless, of course, we need to answer painless. Okay, now talking about your bleeding, may bleeding ba o wala? Now, the, the most precise answer dyan, class, and this is patawag nyo monik or pagkakakilanla ng ating premature cervical dilatation, is that there is a pink tinge vaginal discharge. Again, remember that one? Pink tinge vaginal discharge. And it will be followed, of course, by a, a series of uterine contractions. Remember that your cervix is actually part papusha ng ating cervix. It is actually the, the, the tip, okay? It is the tip which has the external internal os palabas po sa ating vaginal canal, okay? Or the uh, birth canal o sa vagina po na uh, ng ating mga mothers. Now, considering class that it is the para siyang um, the, the outlet no, towards the vaginal canal, we need to remember class that uh, kapag mangyari po ang ating premature cervical dilatation, remember that it can trigger actually uterine contractions. Okay, again, what are your possible nursing assessments? Painless dilatation class, walang pain pink tinge vaginal discharge and also the presence or pwedeng magkaroon po ng uterine contraction. Now, how do we manage our um, patients na nagkakaroon ng uh, premature cervical dilatation? Isa lang po ang management, a surgical management na meron tayo di, uh, for, for this uh, complication and that is what we call as your cervical circlage. Ang grupo po ng mga types na ito, we call them uh, cervical uh, circlage or sometimes they call it cervical suturing. Okay? At ang circlage po na ito ay mayroong tatlong types. What are those? First, 
Tandaan po natin, we have the Sherrod Car. Okay, pangalawa, we have the McDonald's Cervical Circlage. And uh, pangatlo, meron po tayong tinatawag na Transabdominal. Okay, Cervical Circlage. Again, we call it Sherrod Car. Circlage, McDonald's, cervical circlage, and then also your transabdominal. Okay, class note na natin yan. Now, ano po bang pagkakaiba ng tatlo? Now, kapag sinabi natin si Rodcar, remember, we need to think that si Rodcar class is your nylon sutures or gumagamit po tayo dito ng nylon sutures na kung saan po we are suturing, okay, the uh, cervix in a horizontal and a vertical manner. Okay, again, gumagamit tayo sa Sherodcar cervical circlage ng nylon sutures at ang manner po ng suturing dito ay uh, nylon sutures, uh, horizontal and then vertical manner. At remember, this is also uh, to easily uh, remind ourselves no, about the Sherodcar cervical circlage. Remember that in your Sherodcar, okay, open po ang cervix natin, okay, upon surgery class, uh, meron um pong opening na natitira uh, according to Adele book, it's a very, very few uh, millimeter in diameter. Okay? Very good. That's right. Now, another naman class is your McDonald's cervical circlage. Kung ganina sa Sherrod Car, it's a nylon suture. Upon the other hand naman, sa ating McDonald's cervical circlage, gumagamit tayo dito ng cervical tape. Again, remember, a cervical tape. At ang manner at technique naman natin dito is ang tinatawag natin purse string manner or technique. Again, remember that one, first string manner. Isulat mo na yan. At kung kanina sa si Rodcar, open po ang cervix natin for few uh, with few uh, millimeter in diameter dito naman po sa ating McDonald's, it is actually closed. Again, remember that one. Now, for our si Rodcar and McDonald's um, management of uh, type of cervical circlage, remember that these procedures can actually the sutures, no, and then the sterile tape na inilagay natin kay patient, this can be removed at 37 to 38 week of pregnancy to accommodate vaginal delivery. Remember that one. So kung ang tanong if pwede pa bang magkaroon ng normal um, vaginal delivery, ang isang patient class na nagkaroon ng Sherodcar and then McDonald's a cervical circlage, the answer is yes. Okay? The answer is yes. I-take note na natin yan. Now, ang pangatlo class is what we call as your transabdominal cervical circlage. This one class, iting pagkakakilala ng ating transabdominal cervical circlage. Remember that the sutures may be left in place and a cesarean birth uh, can be performed in your transabdominal. Remember this one. Okay? Sherodcar, McDonald's, and then transabdominal cervical circlage. Now, what are your important nursing considerations for your premature, premature cervical dilatation? Firstly, remember that after circlage surgery, women remain on bed rest or perhaps uh, the position na pwede natin gamitin dito is your Trendelenburg's position. Take note of that or modified slight or modified Trendelenburg position for a few days to decrease pressure on the new sutures. Yan. Remember that one class. Okay? And then kapag pinatanong, because this has been asked also in some of our exams, usual activity and sexual relations can be resumed in most instances after this rest period. Kinatanong kasi natin, pwede bang mag-resume agad ng sexual activity or usual activity ng isang patient class post-cervical circlage? The answer is, usual activity and sexual relations can be resumed in most instances after this period period or the period of bed rest. Okay? Now, that ends our lecture on premature cervical, cervical dilatation. See you again, guys, on our next discussion.